Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren Polovich, and I'm the Director of Special Projects at the Focused Ultrasound Foundation. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about focused ultrasound for musculoskeletal conditions. There are many different musculoskeletal conditions for which focused ultrasound is currently being used or studied as a treatment option. It is being used to treat pain secondary to arthritis of the facet joints in the back, which causes low back pain, pain from knee arthritis, hand and hip arthritis, and sacroiliac joint arthritis and dysfunction, which also causes low back pain. There are preclinical studies looking at focused ultrasound as a potential treatment option for degenerative disc disease and soft tissue injury. Focused ultrasound has been shown to improve or reactivate the bone healing process. And lastly, focused ultrasound has been used for over a decade to treat benign and malignant bone tumors. I wanted to highlight just a few of the major benefits of focused ultrasound compared to some of the traditional treatments for musculoskeletal conditions and chronic pain. As you know, focused ultrasound is a completely non-invasive procedure, meaning there are no incisions, no needles inserted into the body, etc. This means there is no risk for infection or bleeding and patients can recover much faster from the procedure. Because the skin barrier is not broken, there is no need for a sterile environment. This majorly cuts down on the demand for supplies such as masks and gloves and reduces overhead costs. Due to the lack of incisions or needles, focused ultrasound can provide a safer alternative to patients with medical conditions which put them at high risk for complications if they were to undergo general anesthesia. And most of the time, focused ultrasound can actually be performed with no or very little sedation. Another huge benefit of focused ultrasound that has been noted in human patients already is the reduction in the consumption of prescription pain medications after focused ultrasound treatment. This is huge as it helps to combat the opioid crisis and eliminate other negative side effects related to opioid and NSAID medications, such as constipation and decreased kidney function. The following is a list of mechanisms of focused ultrasound that are being used in musculoskeletal conditions. Thermal ablation, or the destruction of tissue through heat, is being employed to treat arthritis pain and bone tumors. The other mechanisms listed, which use a lower intensity focused ultrasound, are being employed for the remaining conditions which I will speak of, including degenerative disc disease and soft tissue injury. Back pain secondary to facet joint arthritis is an indication that is very close to mainstream adoption of focused ultrasound as a therapy. This type of arthritis is due to inflammation from wear and tear over time on the facet joints in the lower back from bending and twisting. In order to alleviate the pain, focused ultrasound is used to thermally ablate the nerve that sends pain signals from this joint back to the brain, and this nerve is called the medial branch nerve. In the right upper hand picture, this nerve is signified here where the needle is um, pointing at and in the bottom picture where the focused ultrasound beam is also pointing at. So um, once this nerve is thermally ablated, patients will no longer sense pain from these inflamed joints. This is almost identical to the gold standard treatment for this condition, which is radiofrequency ablation. But with radiofrequency ablation, needles are inserted into the back to ablate the nerve. Given its non-invasive nature and the image guidance capabilities, focused ultrasound is safer and potentially more accurate than radiofrequency ablation. And to date, multiple focused ultrasound devices have been and continue to be studied for this indication, including both MRI-guided and X-ray-guided devices. This next slide is an image that was provided by one of the device companies called Fuss Mobile, which shows a comparison of radio, radio frequency ablation versus focused ultrasound. Uh, in the image, in both photos, there is a vertebral body. And um, what I wanted to point out is that the nerve lies right along the bone. So the target is actually the bone surface right along here. And what I wanted to especially point out is that with the focused ultrasound treatment indicated by the letters FUS, there is less damage and bleeding to the non-targeted tissue and the ablation site is directly over the nerve. Whereas with the radio frequency uh, treatment, it is hard to determine where the actual ablation site was and there is more hemorrhage outside of the target zone. 
I also wanted to take a quick moment to highlight the Neuralizer device by Fuss Mobile because it has brought innovation to the field by combining a different image guidance technique that was already being used for radiofrequency ablation. Therefore, pain clinics already have the imaging equipment in their offices, and they don't need to worry about purchasing an MRI in order to do focused ultrasound. So uh, you can see in this image, this is actually the x-ray device here. This is called a fluoroscopy machine. And the smaller device that is sitting on the patient's back is the focused ultrasound device itself, which delivers the focused ultrasound and burns the nerve. And a clinical safety trial with this device was just completed, and the company is now moving into the second phase of their clinical trial to validate the effectiveness of this device compared to radiofrequency ablation. So moving on, pain secondary to knee arthritis is also being treated with focused ultrasound using thermal ablation of a sensory nerve that supplies the knee joint. And a clinical trial out of Japan has been completed and we are awaiting publication of these results. The above image shows a picture of the device and how it is placed on the patient prior to MRI and treatment. The patient is then slid into the MRI machine where the nerve is targeted and then treated with focused ultrasound. We are also awaiting the start of an additional study on thermal ablation of the nerve supplying the hand and hip joints out of Italy. The sacroiliac joints are the joints in the very low back that connect the pelvis to the sacrum, illustrated in the upper right hand picture here. Um, it is estimated that 15 to 30 percent of patients who have chronic low back pain suffer from SI joint arthritis. There was actually a case report that was published in 2019, which successfully ablated the nerves supplying an SI joint in a 75-year-old female who had undergone multiple surgeries and other procedures with no relief in her pain. After focused ultrasound treatment, she had complete symptom resolution of her pain within four days, and she was actually able to stop taking her oral pain medication. This is a great success story for focused ultrasound for sacroiliac joint pain. There are additional preclinical laboratory studies and clinical trials that are also in the planning stages. Moving on, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about degenerative disc disease. Degenerative disc disease is a condition where the intervertebral discs between the vertebrae and the back lose their cushioning, which leads to compression of the nerves exiting the back, and this causes pain. Here, this is illustrated by this disc here, which shows um, loss of the material inside the disc space, which leads to compression of the nerves exiting in that region. Researchers in the preclinical setting are using focused ultrasound to treat degenerative disc disease in a few different ways. In one study, high intensity focused ultrasound was applied to the degenerated discs to destroy the defective degenerate tissue, and then a biomaterial which restored the disc to its natural cushion was injected. In another study, which is actually pictured here in the lower right-hand corner, researchers packaged a drug that is known to restore degenerated discs into nanodroplets, and then applied focused ultrasound to these nanodroplets to release the drug in high concentrations at the exact target of the disc space. So you can see here, the medication itself is represented by the um, green squiggly lines, and the medication is packaged into these nano droplets. The high intensity focused ultrasound is then aimed at those nano droplets, and the nano droplets vibrate enough so that there is a break in their membrane which releases the drug effectively into the target zone which in this case is um, the disc space itself. So soft tissue injuries often occur in the shoulders, the neck, the back, and the legs. Examples of soft tissue injuries include damage to ligaments, tendons, and cartilage, such as a sprained ankle. Studies have shown that low intensity focused ultrasound can alleviate pain induced by soft tissue injuries through a variety of mechanisms, including decreasing inflammation and increasing the production of the body's natural pain relieving chemicals. And another interesting study that was recently published concluded that a combination of low intensity 
focused ultrasound with stem cell injection leads to early and effective cartilage regeneration. The upper picture is a graphic representation of how the researchers harvested stem cells, which were then injected into injured knee joints, which subsequently received treatment with low intensity focused ultrasound. And then the bottom image is a microscopic representation of their results, which were pretty exciting and interesting. So the box, the red box, shows the zone where new cartilage cells are being made. And as you can see, the knee joints that were treated with focused ultrasound plus stem cells, which is indicated by the letters ASC plus LOFUS, um, these boxes contain many more blue dots. And each of these blue dots represents a new cartilage cell. So compared to the injured joints that received either no treatment or just stem cells alone, the boxes that got focused ultrasound with stem cells um, have many more newly regenerated cartilage cells. So that's it. So in conclusion, there are many different musculoskeletal indications for which focused ultrasound is a potential therapy. The goal of focused ultrasound is to decrease pain and promote healing. And each indication that I mentioned is in a different stage of research development, but all areas have shown promising results which can eventually lead to decreased suffering of millions of patients plagued with bone, joint, and other soft tissue pathologies. Thank you.